How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and yes, Apple Intelligence is using a ton of your iPhone storage. Let's talk about that. So, one of the biggest concerns Apple had when they were developing Apple Intelligence actually had to do with security. Because, as you know, our data is our most important thing, our most private thing nowadays, and artificial intelligence, especially those models like ChatGPT and Gemini and Apple Intelligence, they're actually based on data, more specifically, our private data, because it's inside our devices. And because of that, Apple actually actually developed Apple Intelligence to run most of their tasks offline. So without having to connect to servers and without actually having to send your data to the cloud. And because of that, Apple Intelligence is actually very, very heavy. It's not web-based, it's not based on the internet. Most of the tasks and calculations actually happen on device. And that's why it has to be super, super heavy. Think of Apple Intelligence like a heavy application that you download from the App Store. It has to be heavy because it has to process everything on your device, as I mentioned. And even though this is very, very good for privacy, this is very, very bad for your storage. Simply because when you enable Apple Intelligence, and sometimes Apple Intelligence is already enabled by default, it'll download a lot of stuff. Apple actually says that you actually need seven gigabytes to run Apple Intelligence. But then this is the trick because over time, this storage gets bigger and bigger. Apple Intelligence requires and needs more and more storage. And one very good example of this is when Apple first released and first announced Apple Intelligence a few months ago, they actually said you would only need four gigabytes of storage. Now they're saying you need seven and this is getting bigger and bigger. And probably over time with new features and more functionality, you probably need maybe nine, 12 or even more. So of course, Apple Intelligence is only gonna require more and more of your iPhone storage. And with more storage comes battery. When you use Apple Intelligence, you have probably already noticed your battery will drain just like that. It uses so, so much of your iPhone battery. And even if you don't use Apple Intelligence, since it's constantly updating and downloading stuff in the background, it's always using your battery as well. So my whole idea with this video is if you don't really care about Apple intelligence or if you don't really care about AI as a whole, I do recommend that you go ahead and disable it, don't use it, and of course you free up a ton of your iPhone storage and of course you'll avoid huge battery drain. Let me show you how you can do it. It's of course extremely simple and of course how this will reflect on your iPhone storage. Let's take a look. So if you grab your iPhone, go to settings, scroll down to general and then go to iPhone storage right here and you scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling all the way down, you'll see here iOS and that's where Apple Intelligence lives. As you can see right here, it's taking up 5.53 gigabytes, but that's because I've just enabled it right now because I was disabling and re-enabling to make this video. So as you can see here, 5.53 gigabytes. So if we actually come back, come back, come back again and go to Apple Intelligence, it's dedicated section right here, and then simply disable it and of course turn off Apple Intelligence, then it's gonna do it automatically. As you can see, it's done. So it's if you come back here, go to general and then iPhone storage once again, you already see the difference right here. It's changing the numbers right here. It won't be automatic, okay? Keep that in mind. So if you tap here on iOS, it'll still say 5.53 gigabytes and that's why I recommend you to restart your iPhone. So go ahead and restart it just like that, just for those uh, actions actually take effect. So go ahead and restart your iPhone. So boot it up once again, as you can see, pressing the side button and then let's wait for it to restart. And please keep in mind that even after doing that, it'll actually take a while in order to Apple to actually free up the storage. We all know how Apple is with storage. They always take their time. And so that's literally it, guys. That's how you actually free up 
Apple Intelligent Storage, which as I said, I do recommend that you do, especially if you don't like it, if you don't use it, it's just a waste of your storage and of course a waste of your battery as well. So disable it and then always keep taking a look at Apple Intelligence, always keep checking because once it gets interesting to you, for example, all you have to do is enable, is actually flip a toggle and then you have Apple Intelligence on your device once again. But for now, I would recommend most people to actually do this, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.